Hello everyone. So this time I managed to record <laughs> or to save um, the poses. So we have our contact pose, our down pose, our passing pose, and then back down to contact, right? So you can tell in here there's like a missing pose and it's called the up pose. Um, so if I go ahead and grab all these and I can figure out, oh, I actually happened to have landed exactly where it would go. Marvelous. Um, so the up pose is called the up pose because it's the highest point um, for the character. So for example, this, let's see, we'll be back, but they're up on their toe. So you can see I can actually like move that back a little bit more and very importantly move this up a bit all right so it's a key thing about the up pose is that the um the uh this is the furthest point um for the torso and the head and such to to be moved up it's also if we can there you go um sort of like a sort of passing pose when it comes to this um because it's the feet are not like really separated. Um, I'm trying to think, eh, I kind of want this curved a little bit. Um, you know, it's not a really separated foot or anything like that. Uh, so we do have to worry about that. We also have to start rotating all of this back to the other side. Um, and we also have to consider for a moment we're looking at it from this angle, which we should be at some point. Um, I'm actually kind of already over there. Um, wanting to be full, the, the hips are already moved over to the side because we have the passing pose, so that's good. Um, but I can definitely do a little bit more with that um, and rotating that. So, but we also need to, on this hip, which is going to change how this works. Um, so I probably should have started with this. Not a lot. Um, it, it shouldn't be rotating a lot. And I have to kind of remember like how much it's rotated for um, my pass or for my contact pose, which is less. So I can actually, I can look at my passing pose and I can say, all right, this is rotated along Y by 12. Um, I'm sorry, my contact pose. So then on this pose, it should be less than 12. It should be on its way to 12 from, you know, zero-ish. Um, and so we would worry about that. And I would kind of start to like put these in before rotating the arms. Doing just a little bit. Um, Let's see if this is like that. That's like that. Yep, that's all good. Because it is going to change, you know, where they are. And let's see. Um, you know, the wrist is still bent like that because it is still, um, you know, lagging behind the arm. The arm has not reached its last part yet. And I want this to be back here. Can be bent a little. I might actually change my mind and bring this back further. Now this is not as overlapped as the um, as the whatchamacallit, as the as the passing pose, right? The passing pose we said before is like kind of harder because it's it's all everything is just like on top of each other and it doesn't really look very interesting. Um, and we also talked about with the down pose how it's um the balance is technically off and on this one it kind of is too and i'm thinking my my walk cycle right now for this character he's kind of like leaning back like it's a cartoony walk so it's a little bit offset but you oftentimes especially if the character is like moving forward just to give you an idea you know you might have wrong axis there we go you might have a character that's leaning this far forward for the up pose um, and obviously that looks like they're about to fall because they are, they're about to fall into the contact pose. Um, so, but in the case of this character, it's a little bit different because I have him purposely 
like strutting around like leaning back and so it's it's got a very different um what's the word i'm looking for a very different like feel to it basically so um then like if you look at the you know images uh, of something like this i will say also the more i'm looking at the more i realize i it's going to be a little bit of work for me but i don't like that i never really spread the feet apart especially for a walk like this it's just kind of bugging me a little bit um so i'm thinking to myself you know like i need it to be like just just a little bit it's like 0 0.19 0 0.15 there we go um so i'm gonna hit s then i'm gonna grab this number and all i have to do is go here okay so like to go down here and it's a little bit tedious um but it's something i should have paid attention to before or I might have, and then I, I, you know, when I, when I unsaved, um, but it's pretty typical for us to like, whoopsie daisy, something like this, right? Like where you realize, oh, I'm kind of missing something from like all of my poses. <laughs> um, and so I go through and I'm not gonna worry about that last key that's off the grid because I'm gonna just, that's gonna be copied from somewhere anyways. There we go. Um, and I could do the same thing for this. I could say, uh, oh, it'd be negative 0.15, pa apologies. Right, and this is where um, copy and paste can come in handy because we're copying just that value. Um, and I wonder actually, I can use this button to go forward. Oh no, well, it, I was wondering if it would save that I was in the, um, you know, the values, but it's not. Um, but yeah, I think I'll feel a little bit better about some of these poses um, if the, feet are not quite walking on the line especially with like how confident this character is you know they're they're not gonna be like you know feet together can be like a sort of more uh, timid sort of thing and i'm also thinking oh interesting i think oh i was doing something else and i changed my preferences and it's no longer set to stepped so i have to like go into my animation editor and this will happen if you're switching back and forth between projects right like we've got this going on um i had to set to flat tangents because i was doing actual animation um but when i'm looking at this you know lands on this foot da, 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 and then he's on his way to this contact pose and so actually this the same reason that they're not from this view over the proper weight, this actually needs to be on its way to being over this foot, um, which means being in the middle. So on this view, it's also the weight is not correct because it's on its way down there. Um, and there you have it. So yeah, it'd be like, tut, tut. there we go. Um, so it's over that foot, rarely lands, comes up, comes up even further, and then lands. And you can see there's, um, from either view, there's not a huge difference in this walk um, between the up and the contact. And there may not always be. There's more of a difference between the contact and the down. Like this has a little bit more of it. Um, and then the passing pose is pretty high. And so up only goes up a little bit higher. Um, and that's just because of the, the style of the walk this character has. Um, they're not always going to be evenly spaced like that. And, it, and I might tweak it later, depending on, you know, how the energy looks. Um, but I need to, let's see. So I paid a little bit of attention to the arms. And I'm thinking they swing pretty decently. But I think I want them to be a little bit, um, right now it might be a little bit too much between, I don't want it to be even, but it's a little bit too much favoring the, um, the passing pose. Like there's, there's an extent to which it, it shouldn't be favoring it that much. Um, so I'm just a little bit just, uh, yeah, just a little bit. 
Um, and I can do the same thing for this side. Also with bending the arm a little bit. There we go, Some, something like that. Um, and then last but not least, I have to make sure the, um, I'm gonna look in this view. Need to turn the head just a little bit because I want it, the character to be looking forward. This particular character is looking forward as they're walking. Yep. Um, we make all these adjustments with our head and neck as we're walking and we don't, you know, our heads don't wobble all over the place. So um, we're always looking, you know, straight ahead or at the thing, you know, that we're looking at. Um, I can also check to see from this view, the side view. Yeah, the arms and the shoulders are definitely favoring the passing pose right now. And so I need to be a little less timid in how much I twist this. So one of the things I'm looking for is, yeah, I want the pose to be to look good, but I also need to consider it within the context of what comes before and after. Um, so before, after. That might work. Um, and then I can grab all of this. And in here, Drag select a whole bunch of frames, come in here, paste a whole bunch of frames. Um, and then of course do the whole reversal thing, which I will pause once I have nothing else to say, but just remember again, just be careful, write things down in a way that is like going to make sense to you. Um, again, I, I really wish there was a way to like copy all of that and paste it but we know from experience that it doesn't work. Um, and it just it doesn't take anything into account. Um, so I'm going to pause this briefly to write down a whole bunch of numbers and I will be right back. Returning briefly to point out that one of the things I had to do was remember that the translate X is not something I'm translating, it's all the same anyways um, from, from A to B because I have them equidistant from this line. Also, they're not going to look identical because my hips have not been rotated yet. So you want them, you know, when I when I try to figure out which number I'm going to reverse between these two, it's like, all right, the translate Z um, did not have to be reversed. Um, so I just put that in there, but, uh, or at least I didn't, oh no, it did. Okay, so translate Z had to be um, reversed, but the, uh, and so did uh, the heel ball, heel ball did not. So I was typing them in and like if the foot ends up at the front, then you know, okay, that's the one I have to reverse. But it's just that you wanna make sure it's close and you'll know like later on, you know, it'll start to look more similar once we actually rotate the hips in. All right, so having spared you all the monotony of changing things, um, just to review what I was changing, all the spine stuff, um, and hip stuff. If there's any translate Y's, I didn't change that because that's just the height above the ground. And any rotate X's I did not change because that's just how far forward or backwards they're twisting, you know, they're leaning. And that's the same um, irrespective of anything. All the rotate Y's and Z's for the spine and the head and the neck, I just added or subtracted a negative depending on if one was there or not, right? So you just reverse it. The number stays the same. You just reverse whether it's positive or negative. For the arms, I just wrote down the values of one and wrote down the values of the other and then change them. And there's no reversing of, of um, amounts necessary because the way this rig is set up is that bending in this direction is a negative, bending in this direction is the same negative regardless of um, which arm you're on. And for the shoulder joint, you know, rotating um, backwards is, for, for some reason, is a positive number. Rotating the arm forwards is a negative number regardless of which arm you're on. So the arms, there's no negative positive reversals. It's just change the numbers from one to another. You may also notice now that we have done this multiple times is that I haven't changed the fingers at all. Not dealing with that yet, not <laughs> changing that yet. Um, I can 
you know, that's a small enough detail that I can just kind of intuitively do it by hand, like a little bit later. Um, and I probably will, cause I'm not liking what's going on here, but they don't have to match exactly. You know, like we generally want our footsteps and our hips and our shoulder swings to match exactly, but the hands, eh, not only do those not have to match, it's preferable if they don't. So that's the kind of thing we'll talk about like next week in terms of adding little things. So I'm still, it's not that I'm forgetting about the hands. It's just that I kind of relaxed them and like, that's it. We're done for now. Um, and I want to get the, the motion and the weight down before I worry about something smaller but still important like that so if i watch this in here what i should see yep see how it looks like the silhouette really doesn't change on this one the silhouette doesn't change it's just that the interiors look a little bit different that's what you're looking for for right now um you know if you're doing a more complex walk cycle that that might not be the case but for us it works for us all right and so now i can watch this I'm gonna watch it from here first. I find it interesting, see how this is coming in and out of the graph. That's the leaning back and forth. That's the rotate Z, um, which from this view is probably over-exaggerated. Let's watch it from this view for a second. Look at that swing back and forth, um, <laughs> right? So, there you have it. Um, so those are your, your passing those, that's your, I'm sorry, the up pose, the last one we just did. So that's your contact, your passing, your down and your up. Um, we always start with the contact, which I do have to replicate here. Actually, I have to, I have to go into my graph editor here because right now it's not stopping where it starts. I need to go to this one, control C, go over here. Control V, um, in case there was any changes, because our next step, which I'll kind of go over in class, is you know how to transition from you know one thing to the next, you know, uh, stepped animation to actual fluid animation. Um, we need to make sure that that you know matches. Um, but we also want to make sure we know which view we're really looking at. And for me, it's it's probably this view. Um, like that's the goal. I use this to get started because there's not that axis. I can match things, but when I'm thinking about, you know, what's going on, it's this view and there's still a weird thing happening. Yeah, there, it's a really big jump there, big jump there. Let's see where I'm bothered. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. So from this view. Oh, I must have messed something up. So I must be missing a key somewhere because that does not look like where's where's my contact pose? There we go. I guess it does. Where's my keys? <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm looking at how far back this is from the hip there. And then I want to see, ah, ha, ha, it's not the same. I was watching this and I was seeing a bit of a hitch from here to here. And I was like, it's moving forward. That shouldn't be happening. And it's because something somewhere went ker screwy and that no longer matches that. Fascinating. Um, so now I got to figure out where this is. And I'm, I'm really glad this came up right now because actually this gives me a chance to show you a little bit of troubleshootiness. Um, so first culprit, um, I can check to see if this hand is different. And it is not really. So I wouldn't check the back yet. Um, if this hand was also further back and closer to the body, I would, I would check the back. But instead, I'm going to check the shoulder. And I'm going to write down a couple of numbers. I'm going to say to myself, all right, that says 53.7 and 74.6, you know. And then I'm going to look at this one over here. Maybe it is. 
well, if it's not the back, then it's the elbow. That shoulder, it says 53 and 75. Um, that might make a difference, but I don't think so. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change, you know, instead of, oh, um, so it was 53.7 and here I'm just going to do 53, but I don't think, nope, that's not the difference. Um, I have one more culprit by the way, um, that I can check. So then I would check the elbow and I'd say, all right, that says negative 69 or almost negative 70. And then this one over here, when I go to this keyframe, ah, ha, ha. Now that is a difference. So this elbow is less bent than this one. So we're going to say... There we go. 57. Well, would you look at that? Interesting. Now that is a lot closer, which means from this point of view, what happens when I go from here to here? Aha, okay, better. Um, it might still present an optical illusion. I may still have to push something, but it's no longer moving forward, even though it's supposed to be moving backwards. Because to go from the up pose to the contact pose, that arm should be moving forward. Um, or sorry, backwards. It should be further apart from the up pose to the contact pose. So it's still being a little bit squiggly, which is why but I don't know that I want to change the contact pose. The passing pose is the thing that I just made. So, where are my keys? That means I probably want to rein this in a little. And especially on the elbow. Yeah. Yeah, we want something like that. So I'm gonna say 23 and 21. Um, so what happened is I don't wanna change this pose for right now. I like this pose and the passing pose is the one that made it look messy. So I decided to, you know, see if I could make it a little bit better. And now you can distinctly see the arm moving backwards. It's not moving backwards a lot. I might still have to make a change, but he's settling into his pose. Now this also means that I have to go to this passing pose and instead of negative 11, it's negative 23. I wrote down my numbers. And then instead of, can I reach that? Nope. I hate turning on the controls on and off, but I also need to see what I'm doing. Um, 21. There we go. Um, so that means on this side, which is, it's harder to see because the arm is in the back, so we weren't going to notice it that much anyways. So the arm comes into view there pretty easily. But from here, because we can see it, it wasn't, and because of the way that the body is moving, you know, some things are happening um, that wasn't looking as good. So now, this might be tricky to see on the YouTube video, but it's it's settling in better. All right, excellent. So those are the four major poses um future videos next week and in class are going to include things on how to troubleshoot certain things and how to um transition from um your poses to fluid animation but you should still at this point be only in these poses only in stepped animation